Hi, in this video tutorial, I will show you guys how to make a lost wrapped in Blender. Without any further ado, let's get started. As you can see, I have a default cube. I'm start and keep that. In view, background properties, and use and load a an, uh, background image to use as a reference image. It is. And I will put the description in the description box below. And here I'm changing the blending so I can see it a little bit better. Okay, I'm going to reposition the cube so uh, it uh, is in the Velociraptor. Roughly like this. And then it's just a matter of moving the vertices around so it fits the shape of the Velociraptor from the side view. By extruding like this, around, scaling and moving. When we come to the neck, we are gonna use a rotation tool to rotate the vertices slightly, so the vert the edge edges are is following the, the neck. And here we are almost done with the head. Just scaling it down so we get the both sides at the same time here. Okay, let's get started on the a bit more here. Select these vertices and extrude them back and the space between his back legs I have to estimate how it should look because I cannot see it on, on the reference image I have. And here we are almost done with the tail. Just a few. One execution and some loop cuts. Another loop cut and then a loop cut and on the center and then from the top view I'm going to delete the left side of the vertices and then I'm going to add a mirror modifier under editing and modify like so and I'm also going to add enable do clipping so the vertices the center vertices doesn't get ripped apart creating the hole in the mesh Okay, let's join these end vertices here. Oops, not those. That one. And join them at last. And then we should add some loop kits to be able to fit in the head. That was a wrong approach, so I'm going to undo that and do that one at a time instead. And then it's just a matter of re re positioning, 
positioning the vertices so it fits a nice cir circle. Like that, and then I'm just going to delete the uh, faces. Oops, not edges, faces. And then uh, realign them some more. And then from I'm gonna add snap the 3D cursor and then move it out so I'm sure I can add a circle there. Making sure I have six, or six vertices, the same amount on that the hole I made. Scale it down and rotate it slightly. Move it down to the legs. like so and I just keep extruding it up make sure they are following the shape of the velociraptor's leg here I'm just hiding the vertices I don't currently using so by pressing shift H to view them again you should press alt H shift H to hide all H to show. What I did here was I was control R, get in uh, entry loop mode, and then just scroll with the mouse wheel to get number of casts I wanted to have. Just keep extruding. We're almost done with the leg now. After that, did it jump? In the video. Here comes a little bit tricky part: joining the <laughs> leg to the main body. Yeah, checking the thing. And oops, not remove merge. Then go ahead and merge it to together. Just making sure you have the right word to see. Like, but that is wrong. I'm gonna undo that and choose the right vertices instead. Like so. That's my chair. Speaking a little. Right now I'm trying to make it look good, and I'm going to move the entire leg in towards the main body. Can I merge these vertices so I get a nice looking edge here, it's a little bit sharper. And what do we have here? Click that edge loop. Let's move that and run out. Hmm, what to do here? Let's undo that. Merge that one. 